In Java 12, the Java switch instruction was updated, so you can now create what is called a Java switch expression. Java switch expressions enables a switch statement to function as an expression, meaning it can return a value. I have created an example of a Java switch expression here. Um, as you can see, this method here has an input parameter called digit and decimal. And then we have the switch uh, expression here, which switches on this parameter value. You can also see that I have a char here, a char variable, which is assigned to the value of this switch expression, which basically means whatever value is returned from this switch expression will be assigned to this variable here. And if we look inside the switch expression itself, you can see that instead of colons between the value matched and the statement on the right side here, we use this dash and then um, larger than uh, operator, like an arrow operator. And that basically tells the Java compiler that this is a switch expression. So if the value of switch and decimal is zero, then the switch expression will return the character zero. And similarly, if the value of the digit and decimal uh, parameter is 15, then this switch expression will return the value f, the, the character f. And you can also have a default uh, statement here, a default return value. And in case none of the, uh, the switch and the digit and decimal parameter doesn't match any of the case statements, then the default value will be returned. And in this case, I'm just returning a question mark. Notice too that there are no break statements after any of these uh, values, these return values here. And that is because in a switch expression, there is no fall through. As soon as a case value here is matched, as soon as a case statement matches the, the value that of the parameter that is being switched on, a variable, then the value on the right is returned from the switch expression. And that means that execution exits the switch expression as soon as it returns this value. So no fall through, no continuing to the lines after, even if we don't have any break statements here. Now let's try to run this switch expression by calling this numeric switch expression method. And as you can see up here, I have already prepared an example. So we set the digit and decimal to 12. So we expect the character C to be returned from the switch expression and thus from this whole method here. Then we call numeric switch expression, the method with the value in this um, variable here, and then we print out the return value. And so we're expecting a C to be printed out. So let's see what actually comes out. And as you can see, that's exactly what we get out here, a C. The Java switch expression can switch on the same data types as the switch instruction can. And I have covered those in my first video about the Java switch instruction. So look at the description uh, below this video and you will find a link to that video there. You can see it. But in short, it's byte, short, int, char, string, and enums that you can switch on with the switch expression. And I've created an example uh, switch expression here, which switches on a string parameter instead. So you can see that in case this um, parameter here equals the string one, two, three, using the string dot equals method, then we will return the integer value zero. In case it is ABC, the string is ABC, then or is equal to ABC, then we return the value one. And if it is not equal to any of these two string values here, we return minus one. You can see that the return value from this switch expression is also assigned to a variable, which is then later returned from this method. And we can try to call this method. You can see that I have done that here already. And with the value ABC, we re expect the value one to be returned. And I will just run it. Remember that it also runs the previous example. So we will get two outputs. See, this is from the first um, switch express an example. And then you can see the output from the second here, the string um, switch here. And you can see, as we expected, the value one was returned. 
and then print it out up here. That is all I have to say about the Java Switch expression and Java Switch instruction for now. But if you check out the description below the video, you will find uh, links to resources that explain the switch instruction and switch expression in more detail and plus textual versions of this tutorial as well.